What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. Today is Monday. It is Monday morning and uh, it's a tough Monday fighting a lot of adversity. Um, everything's kind of battling me right now but I'm trying to stay positive, keep my head up and keep on grinding. Uh, views are down on the YouTube channel. Uh, not getting a lot of work done in the shop. Uh, subscribers are down and haven't been able to race because it's been raining so I, I got the cards stacked up against me and I'm trying to stay as positive as I can and just keep on grinding because as soon as you you know tell yourself it's over you get down on yourself you can just hang it up um, but I as you guys can tell by the title of this video I need your help and uh, what I need your help with is I'm looking for a car any car running and driving that's between like two and five hundred dollars which I feel like is pretty fair because I know people that buy five hundred dollar cars and daily drive them for like a year and have no issues with them um, if I can get one or two of those I got some cool projects coming up that hopefully will allow us to create some awesome content when we are not at the racetrack uh, right now with the cars I know I we have a bunch of them but they're all seem to be under repair or under upgrades right now uh, the silverback z06 is getting a new twin turbo kit here very shortly from Brazel performance fabrication uh, Jason Brazel I'll link his Instagram right here he's gonna do a, a one-off custom twin turbo kit uh, the cow has been down waiting on a converter back from a bruisey the guys at a bruisey or I guess Ryan the converter builder was gone on vacation and I had it sent to him and we just kind of been waiting in limbo but I should be getting it back this week so the cow will be back on the road this week brown sugar we're fighting some wiring gremlins and Ben's gonna have to go through and just rewire that car as bad as that sucks that's just what's gonna have to happen if we it's not acting right we got to find the issue correct the issue and then uh, move forward with brown sugar i know you guys are dying to see some brown sugar videos as far as the black car the grand national that does require i'd say the most maintenance but uh that one is ready to go we're ready to do some more testing we tried to go to darlington this weekend i know like there's supposed to be a video Sunday's video is supposed to be of Saturday at the Carolina No Time Race, and unfortunately it rained at the Carolina No Time Race and canceled it. So we were 30 minutes away from the track, we loaded up, we headed down there, um, everything was all set. I was super excited because I, I, I didn't feel like the car was, was ever running as good as it is now. Um, the car is just, it sounds great, it feels great, everything is just looking good with that car. And um, that's really good for testing and going faster with the car. So I was super excited about that. We got 30 minutes out, it started to rain. I was like, you know what? It's probably gonna pass. We were heading down there like two hours early before the track really got hot uh, to get set up. And then I got the notification that they canceled the race. They had a pop-up thunderstorm that just was so severe, it just put them out. Um, so unfortunately, sometimes that's the way it goes. And um, it bothers me a little bit because I want to get you guys some killer content. There's nothing that I like more than putting out a badass racing video showcasing uh, really what we do and, and how we get these cars to go fast and work and, and progress and continue to go faster and faster and faster. Uh, lately, I, I feel like we haven't been able to do that, so I feel like I'm letting you guys down, but life is just like YouTube. It's got a bunch of ups and downs. Right now we might be in a down, but uh, that means that there's you know a big up coming here shortly. So uh, I'm trying to stay positive. Uh, I'm just filming this video right now so you guys have a Monday video. I, I generally, the way I do uh, YouTube is I, I make one video a day. Uh, the video that you see right now is generally filmed the previous day. So if you're watching a video on Monday, that actually took place on Sunday. Uh, right now you're gonna see Monday's video is actually happening Monday. I'm standing out here, it's like eight o'clock Monday morning. Morning, um, here at the shop Phil's in there doing some work he is hammering away on a cage on one of his civic projects that he's got going on so uh, today is a real-time video uh, I know it's not super long but it's just what we got going on um, so I do need your help as you guys can tell by the title help if you guys are local to North Carolina anywhere I mean I'll generally I'll drive a couple hours for a car I'm not looking to drive five hours for a $500 car uh, I just need something that runs and drives that we might survive, you know, hit on the dyno, might survive, you know, running on the street a little bit. Something that we can just go out there and just really beat on. And I got two or three really awesome video ideas that I think are pretty cool. And I'd love to bring those to you guys, but I need a car. I've been searching all around here locally and I really can't find anything. Um, everyone around here for some reason thinks that they're... $500 car is worth two grand and I don't quite understand if I see another $2,000 sale ad that says car is great but doesn't drive 
I'm about to lose my mind. I can only look at these ads so long. I've been searching for like a week now. I got like all these crazy apps I'm on like offer up and I've pretty much gone through Craigslist with a uh, fine tooth comb and I just can't really seem to find anything. But since I got you guys here, let's just do a little update video. Uh, we got the black car up on the lift and it's pretty interesting on the lift. I mean, it's not really like a lift style car. This, this car is generally more on the ground, but um, I can show you guys what we're, we're fighting one battle with this car and that is with the supercharger itself. Now I know all you turbo guys are like, dude, just put twins on it already. We need twins, twins, twins. But I, I, I don't know, I kind of like the blower. It's a nice change of pace and it's really fun. Uh, these bolts here, you loosen these and this allows you to clock the compressor housing at, I guess on a supercharger, you can, on a supercharger like this, a pro charger, you can call it a compressor housing. Uh, you loosen these and it allows you to clock the compressor housing any which way. Um, these bolts here all bolt up to the front drive, so there's no belt on this supercharger system. There's literally a gear drive in here and that spins the supercharger. So by changing the gear ratio, you can make it spin faster or slower. Right now, we have the slower gear set in there. Um, it comes right off the crank, so it is direct drive. Whatever the crankshaft is doing, it is making this do. So you hit the starter, this thing spins rapidly. Um, we're having an issue where we we're at Z-Max and it was leaking some fluid and as we kind of went through we saw some brackets were broken some bolts were broken so we went through and we tightened up all the bolts we took literally everything off except the crank bolt the crank bolt stays in there because that has to be torqued down to 400 foot pounds so if you guys know anything about you know turning a wrench 400 foot pounds is insane uh you need a torque multiplier to do that so we took the whole front drive off we went through it piece by piece cleaned it up put it back in there and then we tightened it down with a bunch of Loctite. We made sure everything was Loctited. So we loaded the car up, and uh, when we didn't end up going to the track, we uh, brought it back here, and we saw there was some fluid leaking from the supercharger. You can see there's still a little bit coming down here, and it's got to be coming from the motor because it's that... No, it's definitely not. It's got to be coming from the gear drive. It has to be 100%. Yep, it definitely is coming from the gear drive. Look at this, new discovery. So we fill the gear drive up and we put it on there, but it just continues and continues to leak. Um, the gear drive is important to have, have fluid. But anyways, it just makes its way, it's snaking its way down here, leaking all the way down here, and you, you see it on the blower, you can see it on my finger. Uh, but that didn't catch my eye. These bolts here that hold the supercharger together uh, and clocked in there were coming loose and they were backing out. And that's solely from the vibrations of you know, the motor, everything here is solid mounted. I mean, there's no bushings for the motor. I mean, it's just, it's got a motor plate and a mid plate. So it's, it's solid mounted. I mean, this thing's not going anywhere, but all the vibrations just carry through it. And I guess out here, you know, we have Loctite on all these bolts, but uh, they keep backing out. So going forward, uh, this front drive setup is something that we have to keep an eye on very, very closely uh, along with the supercharger gear drive fluid. Um, the gear drive itself, these are known to be problematic just because they're so harsh. Um, you know, any time you pedal it or, you know, hit the limiter, it raises hell on these. So you try not to do that as much as possible. Um, but lubrication, having the proper amount of oil in there is also key, very important as well. Uh, other than that, um, we're going to change up here shortly. going to put some zoomies on there. I'm going to get the headlights mounted and everything like that. But um, I mean, as of now... But as of now, I mean, everything is good and, um, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. So, uh, the car itself is ready to rock. We're planning to go to Glock Motorsports Park on Thursday and we are going to have some fun. So, Thursday, mo Thursday night, test and tune. We're going to shake it down. And I think they got a race Saturday at Piedmont, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. But we're looking to run this car this week, get the cow back up and running, and get brown sugar done. So, we should have three cars back in action on the channel ready to go which is what i'm excited about because it's all about racing ever since we got rid of the boosted rooster i feel like a piece of the john duck youtube channel has been missing oh phil that's a nice hat you got there wow what do you oh that's it i was gonna use to drive the uh the g when i put the auto in is that what it is it's so fitting <laughs> is, that's your, that's what you use to weld right no are you sure yeah. i'm pretty sure i saw you welding with that on I'm pretty sure, because I can still cut good lights. Ah, <laughs> oh, hey, give me some. Let's uh, let's talk. I'm going to put a clip from your video. I'm going to have you text it to me so we can put it in the video. Uh, 
Tune the car on. Tune the car on the 85. Picked up some power. Made a lot more, lot more power. Uh, took the car to Rockingham Dragway this past weekend. The fastest you've been previously. The fastest been up previously on the Boss Fly was 11 on 93. Uh, picked up seven tenths. You know who? You know who's shaking right now? They're just, they're like this. Who is it? Nick. No, no. Who is it? Tell me who it is. Donk Master. That South Carolina's getting shook up right now. Tell him. Tell him you're coming for him. He made one comment on my Instagram. He said that ain't fast enough, but I guarantee you. Oh. Oh. So point point to him. Let him know. I'm coming for you, bro. Get the back tire when I put the auto in it. Oh no, he didn't. Oh no, he didn't. I what are you gonna do to those big wheels? You gonna take them? I'm gonna take them. You gonna take his big wheels? We gonna make some 15 inch Bruchies for my uh, <laughs> <laughs> for the Jeep. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, good job. Congratulations. New personal best. Now it's like, what, two days after? Two days after. You're gonna yeah. put the car on the lift and rip the transmission out. Yeah, well, we're gonna take the whole setup out because I'm gonna redo the turbo kit. I'll push the. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm gonna push the motor back and. Uh, you going bigger turbo? No, I'm probably gonna keep the same. I'm gonna see how fast I go on that turbo. What if I what right what now. no? What if I could hook you up with a bigger turbo? Oh, man, I mean, you already then got me to go auto. So let's just do one thing. All I'm trying to do is get you to go faster. All right, because I still gotta put a cage in it. I still gotta worry about what's gonna happen to my rear end. Hey man. <laughs> doing that faster than a cage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hey, good driving, and um, we're excited. We'll be featuring the LS swap on, or sorry, the LS swap. We'll be featuring the automatic swap on the LS Nasty, LS Nasty channel, LS Nasty channel. Sure. and um, that'll be good. So I'm excited, because I think you're going to like that trans brake. Oh, yeah. I, I do want to go faster, so. You felt what, like a, a good 60-foot fella. You oh, said yeah. it bent your I neck. I cut a 148. What did it do to your neck? <laughs> it put it in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> it broke my neck. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that is all for today's video um i promised you i'll be bringing you guys a banger for tuesday but as of now uh monday i hope you guys have a wonderful day if you guys are viewing this at lunch uh halfway through the day mondays are the day where you go out there and kill it so go out there have a good day stay positive get work done be productive and uh you know you're already on your countdown to the weekend so if you guys are living for the weekend the countdown has begun uh for me i just love every day so it doesn't matter if it's monday or sunday or tuesday i'm gonna kill it every day uh but thank you guys so much for watching like always comment like subscribe we'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload